Well done, well done. You already reached the final part of this video. Okay, so by the end of this uh, video, you already completed the module number two: internet, medias, and websites. Thank you so much for watching watching my video. Okay, now we are in the final part of module two: connecting and communicating online, internet, website, and media. So these are the objectives for this uh, video. First, I will explain on how email, email list, internet messaging, chat rooms, online discussion, VOIP and FTP work. And I will close the video with the rules of Netscape. First, email. As previously mentioned, the web is only one of the many services on the internet. Other internet services include email, email list, internet messaging, chat rooms, online discussion, voice over IP or VOIP, and file transfer protocol or FTP. First is email. Email is the transmission of messages and files via a computer network. You use an email program to create, send, receive, forward, store, print, and delete email messages. Email programs are available as desktop apps, web apps, and mobile apps. It can be simple text or can be include an attachment such as a document, a graphics, an audio clip, or a video clip. You address an email message with the email address of your intended recipient. An email address is a combination of a username and domain name that identifies a user so that he or she can receive internet email. A username is a unique combination of characters such as letters of the alphabet and numbers that identifies a specific user. Figure 2.26 illustrates how an email message may travel from a sender to a receiver. Most email programs have a mail notification alert that informs you via a message and sound when you receive a new email messages. So what are the good practices to follow when using email? First, you should keep your message brief. Respond to any messages received in a timely manner. Make sure you use proper grammar, spelling, and punctuation. Never respond to any unsolicited messages. Make sure you use meaningful subject lines. And make sure you read the message before you send it. In fact, you must use email when you want a written record of a communication. And to manage the number of messages you receive, unsubscribe from any unwanted mailing list. Then we have email list. An email list is a group of email addresses used for mass distribution of a message. When a message is sent to an email list, each person on the list receives a copy of the message in his or her mailbox. You subscribe to an email list by adding your email address to the mailing list which is stored on a list server. To remove your name, you unsubscribe from the mailing list. Email marketing services, for example, allow organizations to create campaigns and then send them by email to everyone whose name is on a list for distribution. These services allow users to opt out from receiving future messages, forward messages to others, and track the number of people who open the message. Then we have internet messaging. Internet messaging services which often occur in real time are communication services that notify you when one or more of your established contacts are online and then allows you to exchange messages or files or join a private chat room with them. Real time means that you and the people with whom you are conversing are online at the same time. Some internet messaging services support voice and video conversation. For real time internet messaging to work, both parties must be online at the same time. Then we have chat rooms. A chat is a real-time type conversation that takes place on a computer or mobile device with many other online users. A chat room is a website or application that permits users to chat with others who are online at the same time. Businesses sometimes use chat rooms to communicate with customers. Some chat rooms support voice chats and video chats in which people hear or see each other as they chat. Most browsers today include the capability to connect to a chat server. Then we have online discussion. An online discussion or discussion forum is an online area in which users have written discussion about a particular subject. To participate in the discussion, a user posts a message, calls an article and other users read and reply to the message. A thread 
consists of the original article and all subsequent related replies. Next is VOIP, short for Voice Over Internet Protocol. This system enables users to speak to other users via their internet connection. VOIP uses internet to connect a calling party to one or more local or long distance call parties. To place an internet phone call, you need a broadband network connection, a microphone and speaker both of which are included with a standard computer or mobile device and VOIP software such as Skype. Then we have FTP or File Transfer Protocol. It is an internet standard that permits file uploading and downloading to and from other computers on the internet. Uploading is the process of transferring files from a computer or mobile device to a server on the internet. Downloading is the process of transferring files from a server on the internet to your computer or mobile device. Web pages developers often use FTP to upload their web pages to a web server. An FTP server is a computer that allows users to upload or download files using FTP. An FTP site is a collection of files that reside on an FTP server. Many FTP sites have anonymous FTP whereby anyone can transfer some viable files. Then last one is Netiquette. Netiquette, which is short for Internet Etiquette, is the code of acceptable behaviors users should follow while on the internet. It is the conduct expected of individuals while online. Netiquette includes the rule of for all aspects of the internet including the web, social media, internet messaging, chat rooms, online discussion, and FTP. As you can see in figure 2.31, this outlines some of the rules of the Netiquette with respect to online communication. For example, make sure you are be polite and avoid any offensive language, avoid sending any or posting flips which are abusive or insulting messages. Do not use all capital letters which is the equivalent of shouting. Be careful when using a sexism and humor. Use abbreviation and acronym. Clearly identify a spoiler. Be forgiving of other mistakes. So as a summary, this module presented the evolution of the internet, discussed the web at length, presented various types of website and media on the web, and also introduced other services available on the internet and they close with the module listed the rules for Netiquette. So that's all for module 2 from me. Okay, so make sure you still continue watching my video for the next module. See you again. Bye. So well done. Alhamdulillah, you already completed all four parts of this video. Okay, so hopefully uh, you are satisfied with my uh, lectures. Don't forget to subscribe, like and put some comments in my video for me to improve my lectures in future. Okay, see you again for the next video. Assalamualaikum. Bye.